hey, De'Aaron, during the fourth quarter, uh, we actually heard some MVP chants when you went to the free throw line. Just how much fun is it to have the fans back in the building and, and making noise and helping you guys there in the fourth quarter? It's definitely, it's definitely great. Um, you know, just the energy is, is definitely a lot different, you know, when having fans back in, uh, back in the arenas and, you know, for this to be, you know, our first game, obviously we had, we had fans yesterday, uh, you know, first responders and stuff, but, you know, for, to be open to, you know, the, the entire public was definitely, was definitely great. Sean Cunningham. Yeah, and just for you guys to see the way this game kind of ended with a player like, you know, Damian Jones, who can make some, you know, difference on the defensive end for a team that isn't known for some of that. I mean, how contagious can that be for you guys? Uh, I mean, it's definitely great, especially, you know, when you're, when you're doing it on, you know, the, the, that team's best player. Um, it's definitely great to one see and play with. And, you know, when you're out there and he's making it tough on, on that guy, then, you know, that's, that's something that it, that it uplifts everybody. And, you know, everybody knows that they have to do that now. Jason Jones. Yeah, how did you feel about the team's defense overall in that last six minute stretch after you guys got down by 11? It looks like you got more aggressive. It seemed like everyone picked it up a notch as we haven't always seen this year. Uh, it was definitely good. Um, you know, a lot of the things that they were getting, you know, today and yesterday were just, uh, it was just too easy. Obviously, you know, guys on the team can shoot and, and whatnot, but um, towards the end of that game, we definitely made it tougher. And with the shots that they were making, you know, were contested and, you know, guys going to the basket, you know, we're, we're, we're being physical and just trying to make them play through the contact and things like that. So uh, the last few minutes, definitely, you know, we had, we did a better job defensively. Chris Osaltos. Aaron, from your perspective, it's a kind of it's a site of growth the way that you respond in the last six minutes of the game, the growth as a team. I mean, and what was the turning point of your uh, effort? I mean, when they went on that run in the fourth quarter, um, I mean, we're just like we you can't fold, you know. Um, that those things happen. It's run, you know, basketball is a game of runs. Um, so they went up nine. Uh, we called the timeout. And we come in, just, you know, calm, keep calm. Um, you know, the game has been kind of going like that all, all day. One team would get up 10, it will come back down. So um, for us, it was just let's tighten up on both ends. And we were definitely able to do that. Uh, Jason Anderson. Hey, Darren, nice game, man. Um, what do you see as, as the importance of, you know, these remaining games this year? Um, and then what do you, you hope to, you know, be able to achieve before the end of the season? Um, I mean, just to keep building, just to just to continue to get better as 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 individuals um, and as a team, you know. Uh, people look at the season and how it's winding, winding down. And if you're not, you know, wherever you want to be in the playoff standings and um, guys are basically like, you know, shut down this guy, that guy. But for us, um, you know, you can continue to build towards the future. Um, you know, you think about injuries and things like that, but those things happen, you know, anyways. Um, so for us, it's just continue to build what we have, continue to build on the foundation that we have, and you know, let's let's just continue to get better. James Ham. Yeah, Darren. On that note, uh, you've got what thirteen games, fourteen games, whatever it is at this point. For yourself, with the leap that you've taken, how important is it for you to finish out with games like this, where you're learning how to compete at this level, not just for a twenty game stretch, but for a really long season and just finish out the right way? Uh, because, you know, if you want to be one of those teams, then, you know, you're going to end up playing extra games, you know, in the playoffs and things like that. So, um, you know, we, no matter how many games being played throughout the season, and this is an even shortened season than, than, you know, we're used to with 10 less games. Obviously, you know, it's, a, it's, it's more of a condensed schedule, but, you know, with 10 less games, you just, I mean, you keep playing, you, you keep playing. And then, you know, the teams that whatever teams make the playoffs have to play extra games in the playoffs, even after they're, you know, a condensed schedule. So at the end of the day, I mean, we're professionals. Uh, this is something that we have to go through and you just be professional about it. And Sean Cunningham. Yeah, Fox, I just wanted to see if you could talk about Buddy for a minute, just um, what you thought of him tonight. And I know as a point guard, when you have a shooter like him. I mean, is it, <laughs> almost something where you almost kind of expect a night like this more often from him? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, a lot of the times we're trying to get him the ball and run him off screen and stuff. Uh, 
you know, guys, guys are top locking him or, or denying it because they, you know, teams know things are coming. Um, so for us, it's, it's about trying to screen, get him open, get him easier looks. Um, and obviously when he gets hot, you know, it's, um, he can make, you know, extremely tough shots. Um, but yeah, I mean, games like this definitely happen, you know, for guys who can, who can shoot the ball as well as he does. Um, so it's definitely great to have a game like that tonight. But um, our job is to try to make it easier for him to get shots off. And then, you know, those type of nights will happen, you know, more often than not. All right, I can take one more. Tony Harvey. Aaron, I do have a sideway question, if you don't mind me asking, uh, about yesterday's um, verdict. Uh, just want to, you know, get your thoughts on uh, what was going through your head after the verdict was read. And uh, we learned that Derek Chauvin was guilty on all three counts. Uh, that it was, I mean, it was bright as day. I mean, uh, we all saw it. Um, I mean, he even took a plea, you know, knowing that it was going to get bad. So, um, you know, it's hard to say that it was surprising that he was, you know, convicted on all three charges. But, um, I mean, I definitely think that, you know, it was great. We, like I said, we all saw it on camera. Um, you know, the trial went for however many weeks and, you know, the defense had their, their had their defense. But, um, I mean, I think we're, we're definitely glad that, you know, justice was served, even though, you know, a man's life was taken that didn't need to be taken. But, um, you know, it's just it, it's one step, you know, and I think the only reason, I mean, we were even able to get that type of, you know, justice per se is because, I mean, it was caught on camera and we all saw it. So, um, I mean, everybody still wants change and things like that, but you know, it starts, it starts from the ground up. And that was, that was, that was a small step. Okay. Thank you, Fox.